Okay, we're joined now by NASCAR Executive Vice President Steve O'Donnell. And uh, Steve, uh, I think, has a couple of uh, comments that he would like to make, and then we'll take a few questions. Steve? Thanks, Gary. I think, you know, first and, and foremost, certainly uh, really happy to see the emotion from Jeff Gordon tonight, uh, the win that, that puts him in place to run for a championship in, in Miami. So uh, it was great to see the fans stick around. You know, want to congratulate the track on the efforts they put in today to be able to get that in uh, all 500 laps, which we felt like was a, a terrific effort by the track. I'm sure there are a number of questions about the uh, the event tonight. A lot of action took place uh, during the race, so with that, I'd I'd open it up to any questions anybody may have. Raise your hand. We'll take some questions. Nate, you have one. Let's go to Nate Ryan in the middle, and then we'll go to Jeff and then Bob. Uh, Nate Ryan, NBC Sports. Steve, I guess the obvious one is to start with what, the, the discussion with Kenseth, and is there a possibility of parking him or further penalties? What's what's in the offing for there? Yeah, I think in in the case with Matt, you know, we were certainly disappointed with with what took place tonight on the racetrack. Um, we had a conversation with uh, both Matt, uh, crew chief, and, and Joe Gibbs, uh, and, and like we always do, there's still a lot to digest um, from what happened tonight. Um, we'll do that. We'll have some uh, additional conversations and, and probably come out with something if there is anything to discuss on Tuesday. Let's go to Bob. Uh, excuse me, to Jeff Gluck, and then to Bob Pockers. Jeff Gluck from USA Today. Obviously. There's a lot of intensity in the chase, um, but where's the line from what NASCAR wants to see out of that intensity? What's good for the sport and what's bad for the sport as far as incidents like this? Yeah, I think, Jeff, what, what we've said is uh, the chase promotes great racing, and, and we saw that today on the racetrack. We saw a lot of different competitors out there competing for the win. Um, I think what was disappointing today was in the incident that, that I think we're referring to would be a driver that's not competing for a win. In fact, it was as many laps down um, when that happened. So, you know, in our minds, that's a little bit different than, than two drivers really going after it, uh, coming out of turn four for a win versus what happened tonight. Let's go to Bob Pachris. Um, Bob Pachris, ESPN. Do, do you feel that the chase format kind of creates this type of reaction from a driver? I don't, Bob. I think the chase format uh, creates great racing on the track. And you saw six of the eight competitors who are going for a championship lead laps today, uh, drivers at their best. So, you know, you're going to see drivers um, going door to door, and, and that's been in, in the history of NASCAR we've seen that. So, again, I'd go back to this incident as, as a, a one-off that, that we'll look at, but we continue to believe that the chase promotes great racing on the track, and I think the fans certainly saw that today. Got time for maybe one, one more, two more. We'll go with Kenny Bruce, and we'll end here with this gentleman right here. Kenny Bruce, NASCAR.com. Steve, you said you guys were disappointed, and in part because it was somebody that was not in the chase. Had this been two chase competitors, would you all look at it differently? No, I, I didn't say it because it was somebody not in the chase. I said it was because it was not a driver who was, who was many laps down, um, and, and that was where we kind of looked at it differently than we have other, other incidents. Final question, this gentleman right here. Get him the mic there, please. Charles, Charles Works Star News. Do you think Martin's on these lights? <laughs> That's a great question. Um, I can tell you if uh, we wouldn't have gotten 500 laps in, I would have said absolutely yes. Um, I think we'll continue to look at the start time. Um, you know, we were certainly up against it today. We had a number of cautions, so it's something we'll talk to the track about, but uh, really glad we are able to get all 500 in today. Hey, you have one. Go ahead. I think we'll we'll look at it, Nate. I think um, by by stating that we're going to discuss it, there's certainly some things we want to look at um, and compare it, look at videotape, have conversations. Um, you know, like we do with any of these incidents, we never make an announcement on a on a Sunday night. So it's something we still want to want to review. And and uh, yeah, there are options on the table for us. Thank you very much, Steve. Thank you. You have one, Jenna. <laughs> we're going to talk about it. Yeah, I, I think we're gonna we're gonna review all the all the tape. Thank you very much. Thank you, Steve.